guys, this is Shweta. My name is Indra, and you are watching Shweta Vlog. Welcome to our channel. So we are going to react on a video, and the video name is Kamal Hassan, a nostalgic revisit of 61 years of Ulagyanagan or in Indian cinema. How do you spell it? Ulagya. Guys, sorry for the pronunciation. Ulagyanagan. So, I hope you are spelling it correctly. Yeah, yeah. So let's watch the video. Let's watch it. As one of the crowning legends of Indian cinema reaches 61 years of being in it, here's an opportune moment to look at what has made Kamal Hassan, well, Kamal Hassan, or as he is fondly referred to being, Ulaganayagan. As already well known, it began with this little kid of three who portrayed such variety of emotions in his very first film as a child actor. The fact that even at that age, he could bring in such a range of expressions on his little face with those big eyes, a performance that got him his first national award. Looking at it now feels like that was the beginning of a glorious destiny. Several years later you saw him again on screen as a teenager. Talented actor again, not a big name as such, but just one among many without any particular spotlight on him. Did you see him then and go, "Hey, this one's pretty talented. Not sure who that is, but he can go places." So when did you become a Kamal Hassan fan? Were you the one who suddenly discovered him with his super success as what they call a hero and went like this guy acts fights his own fights dances better than most nene vuru parvai virikum madan siragai parakum madu kalakum tan muravai pretty good at singing as well Where was he all this while, and how is he able to do so much? Were you charmed by the romantic hero, or rooting for the guy whose love met a tragic end once, then again, and again? Feels like being emotionally blackmailed, but hey, he did make you feel for him, didn't he? By now, you know this guy dances well. I mean, pretty well. You think you've seen all of it? but then comes another performance that cannot be redone because no superstar can simply match him when it comes to doing all these different forms of classical dance he moves like no one ever before not quite as effortlessly the personal journey of the bharatnatyam dancer who quit everything for his dance training finally seems to have got its due what about say kamal 2.0 Seeing him portray the grey shades of a man who was a dawn for many, savior for others. Perhaps a god-devil paradox, something that we will see in his characters later very often, especially with the ones he writes. He does a much-loved silent film in the times when bringing up the idea of making one would make people go, "Are you guys teleported or something?" Do we have talkies and color films? What is the point of doing this now? But of course, the film is made and the novel approach pays off. The novelty is still widely talked about. Then he reappears as the kind of hero we have truly never seen before. The adorable little Apu. Literally little. Vandalam zatto veda antandalaru asaidha rabba 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 the man who is made ventral by painful rejection and knowing how he came to be i mean no offense to raja great guy but we can all agree apu stole the show and remains the most oh. loved dwarf hero to date no oh, i'm not bragging that's just well stating a plain fact to anyone who at that time thought hey this guy played two characters 
One of them was a dwarf. He did it brilliantly. How better can it get from here? Well, were you prepared to see him play four characters in a comedy that would have its own cult following? Then, an emotionally and mentally sort of stunted protagonist in another drama that gets again its own cult following. What about another reference to The Godfather, where perhaps his skill and acclaim as a writer takes over his recognition as the hero of the film? That is a pretty epic feat for someone who has done so much already as a superstar actor. <laughs> Let's get to a single moment that speaks for itself. A father who after long separation from his children goes out looking for them, then discovers his daughter in the most shocking condition that one could not have even imagined. Or when he hears her speak while asleep. More like what he hears her say. Perhaps one of the most heartaching moments one has ever seen on screen. Did you love him then as the actor, the writer or both? What about seeing him play a police officer in a film unlike most cop films even now? Or the honest, patriotic, idealistic freedom fighter who you probably couldn't recognize the first time? I mean, this guy is of course Kamal Hassan. Yeah, of course. But is he Kamal Hassan? Is he not? Who is that? Uh, well, looking at the career by now, yeah, that is him. This was immediately oh. followed by playing a father who is pretending to be a middle-aged female caretaker just to be near his child. The look, the mannerisms, the whole effect of the performance was well. I think if you have a sip of water every time I say, unlike ever before, you'd be very hydrated. So yeah, probably have a sip now. Of course, there's a brilliant Mr. Robin Williams but to cast your own identity in a character that will be compared to a strong Hollywood reference, he did it once and he did it again. Reaching these supreme heights of stardom, we have a filmmaker who is longing to come out of the shadows. He comes out in a brilliantly led and nuanced semi-fictional portrayal of the times of post-partition. An experiment with the truth of how communal hatred not only marked a violent and bloody beginning of India's independence, but also claimed the life of the father of the nation. It was about that bullet of hatred that did not cease to exist even after that assassination, making this film as relevant now as a film can be. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> After a comedy that also brings in the plight of Sri Lankan Tamils, the violence that they have endured, you have a film that you can say was truly ahead of its time. Perhaps what makes people appreciate an Alavandan or Abhay now is our access to pop culture elements in the film that are a staple in Hollywood. But before internet familiarized these elements to our masses, there was Alavandan. It existed before a show like Mindhunter popularized the link between a problematic mother figure oh. and psychopathy and even before you accepted that violence in 2D animation was bad for child psychology but cool as hell to watch. Yes, the god-devil paradox is also back and it will be more distinctly popularized here on. You wish to be more hydrated? Maybe consider having a sip of water every time I say cult because we have come to Panjadantiram and Anvisivam. Mm. Two films that as millennial lingo articulates have a separate fan base of their own. Then when he returns as Viramandi, mm. he once again gives a film that will familiarize us with Roshamon effect as a narrative style. The unreliability of what we see as the definite nature of what we call the truth and present a very thought-provoking take on capital punishment a rather unpopular stance to take even now. Of course, then there were much loved performances of the goon turned doctor, the instinctive and suave police officer, 
in between a black comedy that is unlike escapist ones that we are so used to. It was more grounded and capturing everyday life in its approach. By this time, perhaps our folks probably thought, yeah, this is it. Probably it. I mean, seriously, how can someone push any further? What is he going to do now? Play 10 characters in one movie? So, guess what happened? Yep. Oh, you know so it. Actually. The man wrote a film that talks about the evolution and conflict between religion and science, theism and rationalism, mentioning chaos theory, butterfly effect, talking about the stupidity of bio-warfare or at least even planning for one, while having 10 characters that represent different religions, views, nationalities, socio-political standing based on the 10 reincarnation of Lord Vishnu. That was the writing part. Then comes playing these 10 characters. Mm -hmm. Can we speak frankly for a moment and say that that was crazy. Absolutely batshit crazy. This is as mad as it gets, folks. Mad in a good way, you see. Then came one film that brought the whole nation together before hooliganism in the name of demanding ban on films got a whole new validation. This is a film that presented a balanced look at terrorism set on a grand scale, sensitizing viewers about the wrongly stigmatized religious identities, a Muslim man with Kashmir in his name and a terrorist father, easily accepted as a terrorist himself but misunderstood, questioned over his nationality, his patriotism, while fighting those who are brainwashed into committing violence for those seeking more power and control in the name of religion. Thankfully, the laid and nuanced take on terrorism reached one and all after a nationwide support for the art and the artist. Recently, we've had an interesting look at three fathers. Different from one another, for their struggles are different. One explores themes like mortality, pursuit of art that outlives him and being accepted by those he had lost in his pursuit of stardom. The second looks to protect his family and go to any extent for it. By the end, even those you root for are stained and perhaps emotionally damaged beyond repair. The third father is again an emotionally distant one, having the grey shades we associate with his characters by now, again made vulnerable when confronted with protecting his own. That is some of the work from Kamal Hassan's journey spanning 61 years. Of course, we would have missed talking about certain films, maybe rushed over a few, but the fact that it takes this long to just touch, touch upon his illustrious career is evidence of his longevity as a film artist. So obviously, one video will not suffice for talking about over 200 films. As fans, we have all grown, even evolved, watching him. A lot of us became active film buffs because of him. So here's our naive hope of having more to celebrate and talk about in the coming years. Happy 61 years of Kamalism. Happy 61 years of Kamal Hassan in Indian cinema. Himself is a university of acting. Actually, you know legend. what? It's uncountable. Uncountable means it's like he has a play a role of policeman, a uh, teacher. Uh, He's played every role. Every role. Count. Yes. Since every when you started role. watching his movies? First movie I have watched his Chachi Charsovis. That was the first movie. I have seen, and then since I was a kid, since I started watching it, I have seen his movies. Have, I have not seen much movies. You have not seen. I have seen yeah, maximum. actually not. You have also not seen that Apu Raja, right? where he plays the role of dog. No, I was about to say uh, what's the movie name, and I, I, I want to see Apu. that. Apu Raja. Apu Raja. Okay. So I remember I told you uh, there is also one movie of his where there are no dialogues in uh. the movie. Uh, what's the name of the movie? We should actually react on it. It's a very nice, like funny movie. Like, you will say zero dialogue. No dialogue. Zero. No song. Nothing. Nothing. Let's watch it. It's just it will be a silent movie. Silent. Complete silent. Wow. It's game of expressions and everything. I can't recall. Like, Pushpak. Push, Pushpak. Yes. Pushpak. Yes. That's the name okay. of the movie if I'm real. It's, it's Pushpak if I'm not wrong. 
yeah you should watch that we maybe we should react on that movie it's a very nice movie see like no dialogues nothing you will just let it just go on go on go just on. have to watch and have fun okay okay he's amazing he come on he's a legend he are he, he do himself he he always put in that situation where you need Ten to rows, think it's not it's you not need easy. to think and it will be a beautiful message okay so amazing yaar amazing he, very very nice he is a legend waiting for more movies of more course movies so guys actually. keep on suggesting us more videos do yeah. like subscribe share comment click on the bell icon also do let us know which was your favorite yes. movie Tell me, tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.